<laughs> I'm going to begin. I mean, you were, of course, born in New York, raised in Ireland, and have since been back to America several times for uh, films from a very young age. I was just wondering, when this story fell on your lap, you must have just thought, this is perfect. Yeah, I did. Um, I, I was very conscious about choosing the right kind of first Irish project to be involved in. Um, and I had read scripts over the years, and it just didn't feel quite right you know and it was very important for me to to do something Irish and um I hope to continue to to do that but um this came along and yeah as you say it, it just spoke to me it's it's a big part of who I am immigration and um the relationship between Ireland and America is I am the result of that you know so because it sounds like this story is not too dissimilar from your own parents' story. I mean, I was just wondering no. if you sought sort of advice from them and spoke to them about their situation to help kind of craft the character. I did, yeah. I mean, I grew up kind of listening to stories of them over in New York and all that kind of stuff. But they, they went into greater detail when I started to ask them about just work and jobs that they had taken on to earn a bit of money. And um, especially to hear from mom from a woman's point of view, um, a woman who has a child and, and is looking after other people's children and would take her kid to work with her. And... Um, it it, uh, it that was very helpful I think you know and uh, when she finally saw the film back in Sundance you know eight months ago or whatever it was the biggest compliment for her to say that I just went straight back to that place the film brought me straight back there so was it a little overbearing in some regards to have the book as a reference point because when you're taking so much from your personal life to then yeah. marry that with the fiction was that was it quite a challenge to to combine the two well i didn't really um and i usually don't um i love i love the book and i've the only thing that i went back to i think while we were rehearsing was um was a little a segment about her relationship with her dad because that isn't mentioned in the script but apart from that um things change with adaptations and things are tweaked things are taken out it's a different format and it's always going to be that way and so to have such a brilliant script written by nick um i didn't really need to look too much further you know and uh when watching the film back do you find yourself rooting for ellis to stay in new york or go back to ireland um, it was interesting to watch it actually because you know the decision that she makes and actually I, I would never have um, judged her for staying at home. I wouldn't have. I can completely understand why she would want to stay or why she would feel the draw to, to home, you know. And I think you always will. I always will, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, New York had become this life that she'd created for herself and she'd kind of walked through the fire and came out the other side. And to give that up would have been, you know, a shame too because it kind of made her who she was. So um, I think for me, watching it, it was more the act of her making a choice, being able to physically in one of the last scenes, which is a confrontation scene between her and this woman, Nettles Kelly, who um, kind of shows her up a little bit. She's able to stand there and go, this is who I am and, and this is what I have to do. And it's more the fact that she actually makes a decision herself. Because at the start of the film, all these decisions are being made for her, you know? And uh, just finally quickly then, the Seagulls one you've got coming up. I just wonder if you finished shooting it and what that one's all about. Yeah, it's um, based on the Chekhov play and uh, Michael Mayer, who's done uh, a lot of Broadway, um, is directing, Tom Holtz produced it and it's a great cast, Annette Benning, Corey Stoll, um, uh, lo loads of different people and yeah, we had a great time, we shot it in like three weeks which seems to be the norm now for a lot of films. Um, lots of steady cam. Yeah. But uh, no, it's great. So we'll, yeah, we'll see when it comes out. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank much you. appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.